Have you ever left a meeting wishing you could replay the conversation because there were parts you didn't quite understand or parts that you missed altogether? Now imagine if you can go back to those exact moments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the record audio function in Microsoft OneNote to not just simply replay the meeting audio, but to navigate to specific moments in the meeting quickly and easily. First thing first, let's open up OneNote to the page where you want your recording to live. This could be a new page for a fresh meeting or a continuing lecture note. Now look for the insert tab at the top of your screen. Give it a click. Within the recording section, you'll see an option for transcribe, then record audio. But before we click on this button to start the recording, we need to make sure that your audio device is set up properly. Navigate to the sound setting on your computer. You can do this by typing sound settings in the window search bar. Scroll down to the input section. This is where you'll select your preferred microphone. If you're using an external mic, now's the time to plug it in and choose it from the list. With the right mic selected, let's test it to ensure everything's working properly. Just speak normally and watch the volume meter move to your voice. If it's not moving, check your connections or select a different device. Now let's go back to OneNote, go to File, Options, then Audio and Video. In the Format section, choose the best quality. Now that you've set up your microphone, let's go to the note page where you want to capture the audio. Go to Insert, Transcribe, Record Audio. With a single click, your recording has started. Notice the timestamp icon that appears on your page, indicating the recording is in progress. You can also see the recording indicator at the top of the application window. As a meeting or lecture unfolds, type in the keywords or short phrases that will act as markers later. Don't try to write down everything, just the highlights that'll jog your memory. The uh, city block that we own and the property next to it generates over $3 million a year in sales taxes and property taxes. Uh, specifically, 160000 plus goes towards public uh, safety, is designated by the half-percent sales tax. What we desire in our area is safety and infrastructure improvement. In our company at Fifth Corner, we have five C's of our, our values. We call them core values, character, competence, communication, and community. We're here to build community. That's part of the purpose of what we do at Fifth Corner. The investors that we have in our fund, in our first fund, that uh, have invested in this property include a family that's endowed a, a college for law and liberty. It includes an endowment that provides... Remember, OneNote is designed to link your text notes to the exact moment in the audio recording. So let's say if you type budget discussion while the meeting is covering finances, you'll be able to jump right to that part later. Now let's talk about multitasking. While recording, you can continue to use OneNote for other tasks, like switching between notes or even pages. You can even switch to other applications like PowerPoint. The recording will continue uninterrupted. If you need to pause the recording, perhaps for a break or when the discussion goes off topic, simply click the pause button. To resume, click record again. This way, you only capture the audio that's relevant. When you're done recording, click stop. Your audio file is now embedded in your notes and you can play it back anytime by clicking on the audio icon. After recording, you'll see an audio icon on your page Click it once and you'll see the playback controls. Also, any note page that has an audio recording embedded will show the playback tab in the menu ribbon. The controls are exactly same on both, so for our example, let's use a larger one in the ribbon. You can play, pause, or stop the audio. You can also rewind or fast forward the audio by either 10 seconds or 10 minutes. And you can see the current playback time and total length of the audio. But what about those keywords and phrases noted earlier? Click on any of them, and OneNote will jump to that precise moment in the audio. And if you enable See Playback from the Options menu, your notes will highlight to match the playback. And the property next to us generates over $3 million a year in sales taxes and property taxes. Uh, specifically, 160000 community. We're here to build community. That's part of the purpose of what we do at Fifth Corner. The investors that we have in our fund, in our first fund, that uh, have invested in Keep in mind that when you click on a section of the note for playback, you may notice that the audio is rewound by a few seconds. You can fine tune that in the audio and video settings here. It's important to use a good audio recording device that is positioned close to the sound source. For example, when I use my built-in laptop microphone, I find that my audio recording sounds very poor and distorted, even despite having chosen the best format for the audio. But when I use a dedicated microphone attached to my computer, 
then the audio quality improves dramatically. Just note, you're not going to get studio quality sounds when using this feature within OneNote, so bear that in mind. Take a moment to label your audio recordings with clear titles. Right click on the audio icon and select rename. And you can give it a descriptive title. This organizational step will pay off when you're revisiting your notes later. Keep in mind the file size. OneNote is efficient, but hours of audio can accumulate. Regularly check your storage, especially if you're using OneNote across multiple devices. To check the file size of a recorded audio, right-click on the recording icon, select Open, and if you see different application options, choose Media Player. Then from the Media Player, go to More Options, Properties, then Open File Location. Right-click on the file, then choose Properties, and you'll see the file size here. Lastly, in the audio and video setting, you can enable search audio. You can search for spoken words in the recording. However, this can really slow down your search, so I leave this feature turned off. I prefer to use keywords or short phrases as markers or references to navigate through sections of the audio. So that wraps up today's video. If you're interested in more OneNote tips and tricks, check out these other videos next. Thanks. Thanks.